Let's open the prayer. Please grant us now a good study that we can understand everything well. And please help us that we would listen and that we would also um, ask questions if we don't understand anything. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, um, <coughs> I've posted the notes in the, in the live stream. Um, now, this morning I just want to look at, uh, at this, this particular topic. Und heute Morgen möchte ich ein bestimmtes Thema anschauen. And one of the things that we've sort of um, struggled to understand. Und eines der Dinge, mit denen wir ein bisschen gerungen haben zu verstehen. Is with all the the different groups that you know produce and manifest themselves. Um, das ist mit all diesen verschiedenen Gruppen, die die ja, sich bilden und die sich dann manifestieren. Is, you know, where, where does the Lord's mercy close? You know, at, at which point does, does he bring judgment on a group of people? Und auch an welchem Punkt ähm, die Gnadentür schließt und der Herr Gericht bringt über eine Gruppe von Menschen. Okay, so I think in, in our finite understanding we are very quick to bring judgment upon others. Und ich denke in unserem begrenzten Verständnis, da sind wir sehr schnell, dass wir Gericht über andere bringen wollen. And uh, I realize this, but I also realize that, you know, there's another ditch where you can almost say that God just loves you and he'll never bring judgment, right? Und ich habe das auch gemerkt, aber es gibt auch eine andere Gruppe, in die man fallen kann, dass man sagt, ja, Gott liebt dich nur und er wird nie Gericht über dich bringen. And I think neither of them are, are a good understanding. Und ich glaube, keines von beiden ist ein gutes Verständnis. But the, the, the fact is that the Lord has given us this information. I think that we just don't um, process it correctly. Aber die Tatsache ist, dass Gott uns diese Information schon gegeben hat. Und es ist nur, dass wir das nicht richtig verarbeiten. Now, I'm not saying that I understand this correctly, but I want to give evidences, right, and I'm open if there's other things that I, that I fail to, to recognize. Und ich gebe nicht vor, dass ich das jetzt alles richtig verstehe, aber ich möchte nur Beweise geben und dann können wir schauen, ähm, ob, wir, ob es noch andere Dinge gibt, die wir verstehen müssen. Okay, anyway, let's begin. Let's go to this first quote. Und fangen wir jetzt an, indem wir zu dem ersten Zitat gehen. Es von it says, the Messiah's coming had been first announced in Judea. In the temple at Jerusalem, the birth of the forerunner had been foretold to Zacharias as he ministered before the altar. As he ministered before the altar. On the hills of Bethlehem, the angels had proclaimed the birth of Jesus. To Jerusalem, the Magi had come in search of him. In the temple, Simeon and Anna had testified to his divinity. Jerusalem and all Judea had listened to the preaching of John the Baptist. And the deputation from the Sanhedrin with the multitude had heard his testimony concerning Jesus. In Judea, Christ had received his first disciples. Here much of his early ministry had been spent. The flashing forth of his divinity in the cleansing of the temple, his miracles of healing and the lessons of divine truth that fell from his lips, all proclaimed that which, after the healing at Bethesda, he had declared before the San Sanhedrin his sonship to the Eternal. 
If the leaders in Israel had received Christ, he would have honoured them as his messengers to carry the gospel to the world. To them first was given the opportunity to become heralds of the kingdom and grace of God. But Israel knew not the time of her visitation. The jealousy and distrust of the Jewish leaders had ripened into open hatred and the hearts of the people were turned away from Jesus. The Sanhedrin had rejected Christ's message and was bent upon his death. Therefore Jesus departed from Jerusalem. From the priests, the temple, the religious leaders, the people who had been instructed in the law and turned to another class to proclaim his message and to gather out those who should carry the gospel to all nations. As the light and life of men was rejected by the ecclesiastical authorities in the days of Christ, so it has been rejected in every succeeding generation. Again and again, the history of Christ's withdrawal from Judea, Judea has been repeated. When the reformers preached the word of God, they had no thought of separating themselves from the established church, but the religious leaders would not tolerate the light. And those that bore it were forced to seek another class who were longing for the truth. In our day, few of the professed followers of the reformers are actuated by their spirit. Few are listening for the voice of God and ready to accept truth in whatever guise it may be presented. Often those who follow in the steps of the reformers are forced to turn away from the churches they love in order to declare the plain teaching of the word of God. And many times those who are seeking for light are by the same teaching obliged to leave the church of their fathers that they may render obedience. Amen. So I want to, to use the two lines, two witnesses. Ich möchte jetzt zwei Linien und zwei Zeugen benutzen. Christ line and the Millerite line. Zwei Christi Linie und die Miller Linie. So, as we read here in Christ time, right, beginning with the the birth of Christ. So wie wir gelesen haben in Christi in Zeit, das beginnt, also Christi Linie beginnt ja mit der um, Geburt von Jesus. The preaching of John. Und dann das Verkünden von Johannes. R right, and then Christ at his baptism, right? And then had Christus seine Taufe. So you, you had all, all this, right? You, you had the birth which was a sign, right? Also man hatte hier die Geburt, was ein Zeichen war. And this was based upon you could calculate this through from time prophecy, right? Und das konnte man durch Zeitprophezeiungen um, berechnen. The Lord had said that he would send a forerunner to prepare his way, right? Und der Herr hatte gesagt, dass er einen Vorläufer senden wird, um den Weg zu bereiten. And you had all these witnesses, the shepherds and uh, Simeon and Anna, etc., etc. Und dann hatte man noch weitere Zeugen, wie Hirten und auch Simeon und Hannah. And this was the, the last week of Christ beginning, right? Und das war dann, wo die letzte Woche Christi begonnen hat. So they had all these clear evidences and, and, and many witnesses leading them down to this point, right? Sie hatten diese klaren Beweise und auch Zeugen dafür, um, die dann zu diesem Punkt sie gebracht haben. Okay, but so the question I want to ask, did the probation of the Sanhedrin close here? Und die Frage, die ich stellen möchte, hat die, de, hat die Gnadenzeit für den Hohen Rat hier geendet? No. No, right? Nein. Now, you can't, in, 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 only in one way can you take this fractal here and make it the Sunday law, right? Only on the, the, the biggest fractal, right? Und man kann um, dieses Fraktal eigentlich nur... Because there's only certain there's only certain principles that, that teach us that this represents the Sunday law. Also nur in gewissen Sinne kann man kann man dieses jetzt nehmen und auf das Sonntagsgesetz übertragen. Okay, so, but, so you can use this fractal, or the, 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 the illustration of Christ can be used on the smaller fractal and also on the larger fractal, depending what you're illustrating, right? Und diese Darstellung von Christus, ähm, sie kann auf das kleinere Fraktal, aber auch auf das größere Fraktal ähm, 
angewandt werden. Es kommt darauf an, was man darstellen möchte. Okay, so, for instance, one says John is the first birth and Christ would be the second birth, right? Where you get the full outpouring of the Spirit. Also zum Beispiel ist Johannes hier die erste Geburt und Christus die zweite Geburt, wo man das volle Maß des Geistes erhält. So in that sense, when you, when you take it at that level, that would be the two births. So that's the Sunday law crisis. That would be the close of probation, right? Also in diesem Sinne stellt man dann die zwei Geburten dar und das wäre dann die Sonntagsgesetzkrise auf dem großen Fraktal. Right? Und hier wäre dann das Ende der Gnadenzeit. But in another level, right, this is the baptism and the cross is the, the, when you're born again, right? Aber auf einem anderen Level ist dann das hier um, die Taufe und das dann das Kreuz, wo man neu geboren ist. Okay, so I'm dealing with it at this level, right? Und ich möchte das jetzt auf diesem Level behandeln. Okay, so the point I want to make, right, so at, at Christ's literal baptism, right, He didn't close the probation on those leaders that had rejected his grace, right? Und bei Christi buchstäblicher Taufe, da hat er nicht ähm, die Gnade geschlossen, also für diese führenden, für diese Führer. But what did he do? Und, aber was hat er getan? He passed them by, right? Er ist an ihnen vorübergegangen. Okay. The, Satan was now using them, right? Und Satan hat sie jetzt benutzt. Ich spreche von Ausland in den Folgen, right? The Or left in darkness. Yeah, yes, uh, 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 yes, I, I totally agree. That's the two lines that, 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 I, that I'm using, right? Und das ist auch wie am 11. August 1840, da wurden sie auch in vollkommener Finsternis zurückgelassen. Und das sind die zwei Linien, die ich auch benutzen möchte. Okay, so when you, when you uh, put here 1798 and Miller, right? Also wenn man hier 1798 hintut und Miller. Time prophecy. Right? Also, <laughs> you have these signs that have been beginning before 1798, become leading down to the last sign, which the stars fall from heaven, right? Dann hatte man ja auch die Zeichen, die noch vor 1798 begonnen haben, und das letzte Zeichen war dann, wie die, dass die Sterne vom Himmel fallen sollten. And these things were openly seen and couldn't be explained. Right? Und diese Dinge wurden halt öffentlich gesehen und sie konnten nicht erklärt werden. And Miller's preaching, what happened in this time period here? Und während Miller gepredigt hat, was geschah in dieser Zeitspanne? The churches were being filled, right? Und die Gemeinden, die waren gefüllt. And it was only when Charles Fitch took this principle that Miller had understood, the day for a year principle, Would, oh, Josiah Litch, sorry, excuse me, I said Charles Fitch, right? Josiah Litch took those, the day for a year principle and predicted a, a time prophecy that was going to come perfectly to pass that they began to get a bit itchy, right? Und ähm, es war dann erst, als dann Josiah Litch diese Zeit, also die Prinzipien von Miller genommen hat, das Tag-Jahr-Prinzip und diese Zeitprophezeiung ähm, dann vorhergesagt hatte, ähm, dass sie dann kalte Füße bekommen haben. Dass sie dann kalte Füße bekommen haben. I didn't say cold feet, but they no, but I mean, itchy is not very translatable in German. They, they got a bit agitated by what he was preaching. Da wurden sie ein bisschen aufgewühlt oder aufgebracht über das, was er verkündet hat. Okay, so, and the point is that in Millerite history we have these Und in der Miller-Geschichte haben wir diese zwei Zehner. Right? And the parable of the ten virgins begins here and leads down to where? Und das Gleichnis der zehn Jungfrauen, das fängt hier an und bis wohin führt es uns? The closed door, right? Zur geschlossenen Tür. So, when Josiah Litch marks us ten days before and it comes to pass, it, it's the evidence to prove what they're saying here is correct. Now, now they have no what? Und uh, um, als Josiah Litch dann diese zehn Tage zuvor seine Vorhersage gegeben hat, das war dann, und es dann stattgefunden hat, das war dann der Beweis um, ja, für das, dass dieses Predigen richtig war. Und dann hatten sie was nicht mehr. 
Okay, everybody's good. I'm glad you're mad. They had no cloak for their sin, Sie right? Kein Gewand mehr für ihre sin. He, said, he said, if I had not come and preached unto you, you would have had no sin. But now you have no cloak for your sin, right? Weil es sagt ja, um, wenn ich nicht gekommen wäre und zu euch gepredigt hätte, dann hättet ihr um, keine, keine, keine Sünde, aber jetzt habt ihr keinen Vorwand. Um, so we, we've always understood this way mark is like some great evidence that gives an impetus and power to the message, right? Und wir haben immer verstanden, dass diese Wegmarke, um, wenn sie stattfindet, ein, ein, großes, ein großer Beweis ist und einen großen Antrieb dann gibt. Okay, so... What about there? Und was ist damit? People's probation closed. Hat sich die Gnadenzeit von Leuten geschlossen? I remember lots of discussions about this particular point, right? Ich kann mich erinnern an viele Diskussionen über diesen Punkt. But you got no evidence to show that people's probation closed there. Aber man hat keine Beweise, um zu zeigen, dass ähm, die Gnadenzeit von Leuten sich geschlossen hat. Although, again, on one level, 9-11 is marking the close of probation, right? Um, trotzdem, auf einer, auf einem Level stellt eben 9-11 das Ende der Gnadenzeit dar. Because first messenger, or first birth, 9-11 would mark the second coming, right? Where he comes to destroy Jerusalem. Weil um, hier wäre dann die erste Geburt und 9-11, das markiert ja, das, also die Wiederkunft, also die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. But on the, the lower level where we're at, baptism, leading you down to the close of probation, right? Aber auf dem kleineren Level ist es dann hier die Taufe und das führt einen dann zum Ende der Gnadenzeit hin. Okay, so, when you dealing with fractals, you have to have the same pattern depending on what you're illustrating, right? Und wenn man die Fraktale behandelt, dann muss man dasselbe Muster haben. Es kommt darauf an, was man darstellen möchte. Okay, so when you're dealing with this fractal, this is dealing with one group from beginning to end, right? Wenn man mit diesem Fraktal handelt, dann ähm, handelt es mit einer Gruppe, also von Anfang bis Ende. So if we take the, at the end of the world, the, the two groups, um, It just take the Sunday law crisis, right? The, the, the reform line for the Sunday law crisis. Und wenn wir jetzt die Reformlinie der Sonntags for, for the two Sunday law crisis. Also wenn wir die Reformlinie von den zwei Sonntagsgesetzkrisen nehmen. Church, world, right? Also die Gemeinde, die Welt. And therefore, when you when you have it on that level, that would be the close of probation, right? Wenn man das auf diesem Level hat, dann wäre das das Ende der Gnadenzeit. But when you're only dealing with one group of people, right? On the reform line, that's the close of probation. Aber right? wenn man nur mit einer Gruppe von Leuten ähm, das behandelt, dann ist das das Ende der Gnadenzeit. Right? Richtig. Question? I think I understand, but I don't know if it's uh, understandable for everyone when you go like that. I mean, the close of probation does not change, it's just the view of No, 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 the, the close-up of is always at the same place. Yes. So what I'm saying is, like for instance, this seven thunders can be illustrated in here. Also, um, die sieben Donner können auch hier dargestellt so werden. So the close-up provision hasn't changed anywhere, it's still the exact same place, it's at the end. Also das Ende der Gnadenzeit, das verändert den Platz in dem Sinne nicht, es ist immer am Ende. So what I'm saying is, when you take the seven thunders, what are you illustrating? Are you illustrating it in this? Or are you illustrating it out in the, uh, uh, stretching it out? And this comes immer drauf an, also in den... Yeah, so two illustrations, right? Also es gibt eben zwei Darstellungen in den sieben Donnern. Wenn du die sieben Donner hier hin tust, dann ist hier das Ende der Gnadenzeit. Und wenn du das Ganze nimmst, dann ist es am Ende. Das sind zwei Darstellungen. The point what I'm saying is you can take Christ's line and you can use it at both levels to teach the same, to teach, you can take Christ's line and illustrate the two Sunday laws with it 
Or you can take Christ's line and illustrate the one Sunday law with it. Und was ich zeigen möchte, ist eben, dass in Christi Linie kann man entweder die beiden Sonntagsgesetzkrisen nehmen und das dort da also zeigen, oder man can illustrate one Sunday law. Oder man kann ein Sonntagsgesetz darin ähm, darstellen. Right? Just depends which level you're at. But the close of probation will always be at the same point at the end. Also right? es kommt immer darauf an, auf welchem Level man ist, aber ähm, das Ende der Gnadenzeit, das ist immer dargestellt am Ende. Right. Richtig. Okay. So, um, so the point that I want you to see, at all, you've got three witnesses there, that at 9-11 did, what did the Lord pass by? Und man hat hier dann drei Zeugen und am, am 11. September, wen hat, an wem ist der Herr vorübergegangen? Okay. The, the Seventh-day Adventist uh, Official church structure, right? In der offiziellen Siebentagsadventisten Gemeindestruktur. And we know that because this marks the beginning of the parable of the ten virgins, right? Und wir wissen das, weil das hier der Anfang markiert vom Gleichnis der zehn Jungfrauen. Okay, but if you go to the story of Esther, wenn man zur Geschichte von Esther geht, what happens with Vashti? Was passiert mit was? Yes, and what happens when her probation closes? Also, ihre Gnadenzeit, die endet, und was passiert dann mit ihr? He begins to gather virgins, right? Also, dann beginnt er die ähm, Jungfrauen zu sammeln. So, the, here's where the, the dilemma comes in, right? Und hier kommt das Dilemma. Genau. So, you've got three illustrations here where they just get passed by, right? Man hat drei Darstellungen, wo, sie, wo an ihnen nur vorübergegangen wird. Probation is not closed yet. Und das, die Gnadentür hat sich noch nicht geschlossen. Yeah, but when you get the story of Esther, it shows you Vashti, who sh should have come, right, didn't come, and then he begins to gather out new virgins. So her probation closes, and a new group is gathered, right? Wenn man zur Geschichte von Esther geht, dann sieht man, dass Vashti, ähm, sie ist nicht gekommen, als sie gerufen wurde, und ihre Gnadentür schließt und er beginnt jetzt die Jungfrauen zusammen. Right, you see the dilemma? Seht ihr das Dilemma? Okay, so, anyway, let, let's, um, go, just go to the next quote. Und jetzt geht's zum nächsten Zitat. It says, in June 1842, Mr. Miller gave a second course of lectures at the Casco Street Church in Portland. I felt it a great privilege to attend these lectures, for I had fallen under discouragements and did not feel prepared to meet my Savior. The second course created much more excitement in the city than the first. With few exceptions, the different denominations closed the doors of their churches against Mr. Miller. Right? So you can see that from the point they get passed by, they go into darkness and it leads them here to, to close their doors in 1842, right? Und man kann dann sehen von dem Punkt, wo sie in Dunkelheit, also sie werden vorüber, an ihnen wird vorübergegangen und sie werden in vollkommener Dunkelheit gelassen und dann im Jahr 1842 haben sie begonnen, ihre Türen zu schließen gegen die Botschaft. Even after this great evidence is given here, right? Obwohl hier ähm, dieser große Beweis gegeben wird. Okay, go to Genesis chapter 11. Und geht jetzt zu 1. Mose 11. I, so the, the point that I'm saying is I don't know the full answer to this but I'm making us aware of it so that we can we have to weigh up the evidences right in order to understand this right Ich sag jetzt nicht dass ich die volle Antwort darauf habe aber ich möchte es euch zu verstehen geben dass wir eben diese Beweise abwägen können und das besteht Now the reason that I'm doing this if I if I put the fifth day of the fourth month there und der Grund, warum ich das tue, weil wenn ich hier den fünften Tag des vierten Monats hin tue, why, why, why does that now make it important for us to understand this? Warum macht es jetzt für uns das wichtig, das zu verstehen? Is that a statement of fact, or is that you just making some 
making some, I mean, how you say that, I don't know whether you're saying it, it is a fact That's or, a fact. okay, so it's a fact that the probation clause is there based upon what we've just went through? No, not based upon what we've just went through, based upon other quotes, like for example, the, the church in the world, the Banhoff's depot vision. Um, but how do you know that doesn't apply to there? Sorry? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a question. How do you know that that vision doesn't apply to this point? We only put it there based upon fractals. The pattern has to hold true, right? Scott, I've just given you three witnesses for the pattern, right? So your, your arguments, you're, you're not really thinking about what you're saying, right? I'm saying it, the, the pattern at two different levels shows two different things. Okay, it doesn't matter. You, you, you've not grasped the point. We, we I've won't. grasped the point. I just don't understand why you're arguing against that point. That the, the, the probation closes for one group at that point. Wh wh which which the point? The, the way mark that you've marked with 9-11 there in the practical of the fifth day of the fourth month. I've just gave you three witnesses, right? That at the level when you're dealing, not with the, not with the bigger fractal, but when you're dealing with this fractal, there's no close of probation there, so how can you confidently say that when I put the fifth day of the fourth month there, the probation closes? Because if you can confidently say that, then you understand this better than me. But I'm not professing to understand anything, but we've read quotes out, for example, the church in the world, it's like they're left in perfect darkness at that way mark. There's people whose probation at that way mark Listen, is by. Uh, you, you're, you're not listening to what I'm saying. It's only there depending upon where we take it and place it, right? Looks good. We always, all, pretty much 99% of all the quotes and verses we took from it speaks about the closing probation, the end way mark. Yes. Right? And based upon practice, we shifted and moved it to a way mark before, where based upon the whole line, right, which ends, for instance, in our case, at the Silver Sunday Law, right? give things from there and move them to another way now. Based, based upon based principle. Upon, based upon principle and fractal, this must also be the post probation. And this question is now how can we do this? And okay. what is the evidence to really have a justification to take it from there and put it there? Okay. How, how can we be confident that we're justified in doing that? That's my question. Right? Also, the Frage war, um, weil wir ja auch hier das Ende der Gnadenzeit markiert haben, Und ähm, wie können wir das aber rechtfertigen, weil hier haben wir drei Zeugen jetzt, wo es zeigt, dass sie an ihnen nur vorübergegangen wird und das Ende der Gnadenzeit eigentlich vollkommen am Ende ist. Und ähm, wir haben das immer hierhin gesetzt, basierend auf Prinzipien, aber eigentlich die vollkommene Erfüllung ist ja am Ende des Praktals. Und es kommt immer darauf an, eben welche Darstellung man nimmt. Aber die Frage ist, wie können wir das rechtfertigen, dass es auch hier, dass das Ende der Gnadenzeit auch hier anzuwenden ist? Okay, so, the thing is, there's an answer in God's word. It's there, right? And until we recognize this dilemma, then we can't, we can't bring all the things together to, to prove it, so that make sure we're not breaking anything, right? Und ähm, die Antwort ist auf jeden Fall in Gottes Wort, aber wir müssen erstmal verstehen, wie wir dieses Dilemma lösen und die Beweise zusammenbringen, dass wir das auch beweisen können. So the, the answer is, when I put that there, when I ask this question, what does it do for us? It makes us think, can we be justified, or, or uh, what I'm saying is, we, we, in order to say that somebody's probation is going to go there, we have to prove it without a shadow of a doubt, not just base it upon our own thinking upon fractals, right? Und wenn wir eben hier den fünften Tag des vierten Monats hinschreiben, dann müssen wir ähm, sicher sein und das beweisen können, dass hier die Gnadenzeit von jemandem schließt und wir, ja, wir müssen einen klaren Beweis dafür haben. Und what was the last thing? Um. And I, I asked that, but I don't remember that, but this was here now. Um, wir müssen das dann eben beweisen können und nicht nur basierend jetzt auf den Fraktalen. Okay, so the first question I would ask myself, are we dealing with one group or two groups? Und 
die Frage, die ich stellen möchte, ähm, behandeln wir jetzt eine Gruppe oder zwei Gruppen? I mean, prophetically, right, okay, let me just take the parable of the wheat and tares. Okay. Wenn wir das Gleichnis jetzt den Jungfrauen nehmen, äh, des Weizen und des Unkrauts nehmen, was hat, hat man dann? So from the, the moment, this, from the moment the seed was sown, right? Also man hat dann eine Gruppe und vom Moment an... Okay, und von dem Moment an, wo dann der Same gesät wurde... That parable is in force until it's complete, right? Dann ist dieses Gleichnis, ähm, ja, das erfüllt, also es ist ein Prozess der Erfüllung, bis es dann vollständig erfüllt ist. Okay, for instance, right? When you put 1989 there, 911, right? And then you have um, 2014 here. Also wenn wir jetzt zum Beispiel hier 1989, 11. September und 2014 platzieren. What, what's this? Was ist dann am Ende? Civil Sunday Law. Das zivile Sonntagsgesetz. So in that sense, the, the, the whole group, the movement, is not complete until this point. Also in diesem Sinne ist die ganze Gruppe, also die Bewegung, nicht vollendet bis dann zu diesem Punkt am Ende. Okay. So we're dealing with something in here, right? Und wir behandeln ja etwas, was hier stattfindet. Oh, you, you get my point now, right? Und versteht ihr jetzt meinen Punkt? Okay, so we have to be careful... Because we, we, we are making a prediction, right? We are making a prediction upon the fulfillment of this point, right? Which is the raising up of John. Because 2014, if you take it, you can parallel it here. So it would be a parallel with this month, right? Und wir müssen halt sehr vorsichtig sein, weil wir ja eine Vorhersage geben. Und das ist ja auch, ähm, hat zu tun mit dem Auf, das Aufrichten von Johannes. Und wir können ja auch das hier nehmen und dann auch hier hinsetzen. Und dann hat man hier Johannes. Right. So, Jeff was a type, this was a type, right? N now, time of the end begins again. It's going to raise up a group of people here, right? Das war ja ein Typus, und, also ähm, Jeff war ein Typus und das war ein Typus. Und jetzt beginnt es hier nochmal und ähm, hier ist dann wieder, richtet er wieder ein Volk auf. Right, and... This is the raising up of a messenger for the church, right? Und das ist ja die Aufrichtung eines Botschafters für die Gemeinde. And John comes out of the belly, Und right? Johannes kommt aus dem Bauch heraus. So that there is a, 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 a mark in, in the Bible, the first place where you're going to see this birth take place, right? In der Bibel ist dann das zum ersten Mal erwähnt, dass ähm, bei Johannes eben diese Geburt stattfindet. Okay. So when there's a birth, what must there also be? Also wenn eine Geburt ist, was muss da auch sein? Well, okay, uh, yes, that's true, but when, when a birth takes place, what's the opposite of that? Also es gibt auch eine Fälschung, aber um, wenn eine Geburt stattfindet, was ist das Gegenteil davon? I mean, Yeah, because if you don't receive that, right, you, you're, you're, this is why we can, honestly, Mark, your feet go into perfect darkness, right? Um, also, was war die Antwort? You, 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 I mean, you, if you don't receive the light, you go into darkness, right? Und also, da, da muss dann auch eine geschlossene Tür sein, weil wenn du das Licht nicht empfängst, dann gehen deine Füße in vollkommene Finsternis. Okay, the whole point of this movement is to be raised up To, um, to be a messenger represented by Christ right here. So you've got John and Christ who's going to go to the SDA church, right? Und der ganze Punkt dieser Bewegung ist, dass sie aufgerichtet wird und zuerst ähm, dargestellt durch Johannes und dann Christus, um zur siebenten Tags Adventisten Gemeinde zu gehen. Okay, so the movement has to go through these two buffs, right? Also die Bewegung muss durch diese zwei Geburten hindurchgehen. Right. John and Christ in order to fulfill the, the type, Also right? Johannes und Christus, damit sie dann den Typus erfüllen können. Because God needs to have a people representing Christ to, to go to the Seventh-day Adventist church 
to lead them through the Sunday law crisis, right? Weil Gott muss dann ein Volk haben, das dargestellt ist durch Christus, um zur Adventsgemeinde zu gehen, um sie dann auch durch die Sonntagsgesetzkrise führen zu können. Okay. So the question I ask is, if a probation closes for people here, whose probation is closing here? Und die Frage, die ich stellen möchte, wenn wenn hier das ähm, Ende der Gnadenzeit für ein also bestimmte Leute ist, wessen Gnadenzeit schließt dann hier am Ende? Because in the, 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 in the, the line, this right here will take you back to this point, right? Weil in der Linie diese ganz Endwegmarke, sie würde uns dann hierhin bringen. Right? Hier On the small Sonntagsgesetz. Auf dem kleineren Fraktal. Bigger Fraktal, excuse me. Ach so, auf dem größeren Fraktal. Yeah, yes, excuse me. I, I, I follow what I'm getting. So, that's what I'm saying. I've always got these thoughts in my mind, thinking, well, how, how do we, how do we prove that there? Right? Where, where if, if the, the whole group is finished here, the whole movement, what's in here? Und ich habe immer diese Gedanken in meinem Kopf und ähm, ich frage mich immer, wie können wir das beweisen, ähm, dass hier schon eine Gruppe vollendet ist, wenn die ganze Gruppe eigentlich am Ende Okay, so these are all questions that we should be asking ourselves. We should be looking at these things and thinking, how do I prove this, right? Und das sind Dinge, die wir uns wirklich, also Fragen, die wir uns wirklich stellen sollen, immer sagen, also fragen sollen, wie kann ich das beweisen? Okay, so go to Genesis 11, right? Verse 29. Geht zu 1. Mose 11, Vers 29. And I'm not trying to put any doubt in anybody's heart. I just want us to be Factual. We've got to prove all things and hold fast that which is good, right? Ich möchte nicht irgendwelchen Zweifel in irgendjemandes Herz legen, sondern ich möchte, dass wir die Tatsachen anschauen und alle Dinge beweisen und das festhalten, was gut ist. Okay, so verse 29. Also 1. Mose 11, Vers 29. It says, And Abraham and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai. And the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah, or Sarai, was barren, she had no child. So this is a subject of Bible prophecy, right? Also das ist ein Thema der biblischen Prophetie. Sarai here is marking a church that God is prophesying that out of this church is going to come the birth, right? Sarah, sie stellt eine Gemeinde da und Gott prophezeit jetzt, dass aus dieser Gemeinde eine Geburt stattfinden soll. So she's barren. What does that mean? Also sie ist unfruchtbar und was bedeutet das? Means she's not had the new birth, right? Also das bedeutet, sie hatte nicht die Neugeburt gehabt. It's the church. It's, this is this big topic that we've been discussing lately, right? Und das ist die Gemeinde und das ist auch das Thema, über das wir letztens gesprochen haben. Okay, trying to understand that We are this barren woman, right? Und wir haben versucht zu verstehen, wie wir diese unfruchtbare Frau sind. But Christ is making us a promise that at a point, certain appointed time, He's going to bring forth children from us, right? Aber Christus hat uns diese Verheißung gegeben, dass an einem bestimmten Zeitpunkt er uns dann Kinder aus uns herausbringt. When you go into the land, He's going to fill you with the Spirit. Right? Wenn du dann in das Land gehst, wird er dich füllen mit dem Heiligen Geist. Go to Genesis 18, Vers 11. Geht jetzt zu 1. Mose 18, und Vers 11. It says, Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of woman. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abram, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. So, the time appointed in Bible prophecy is in one sense the time at the end, in another sense, it's October 22nd, right? Also, die bestimmte Zeit in der biblischen Prophetie ist im bestimmt, also in einem Sinne die Zeit des Endes, aber auch der 22. Oktober. Right? Because the vision will not tarry. 
weil die Vision wird sich nicht verzögern. Only seems to tarry, but it's going to come to pass, es right? scheint nur sich zu verzögern, aber es wird geschehen. That's what was fulfilled on October 22nd, right? Das wurde auch erfüllt am 22. Oktober. Okay. So, go to Luke chapter 1 and verse 7. Jetzt geht zu Lukas 1 und Vers 7. It says, and this is speaking about Zacharias and Elizabeth. Das spricht jetzt über Zachariah und Elisabeth. It says, and they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. Now, who's Elizabeth the mother of? Von wem ist Elisabeth die Mutter? John, right? Johannes. So it's the exact same principle. John is a fulfillment of the promise. Right? Das ist genau dasselbe Prinzip. Johannes ist die Erfüllung der Verheißung. Okay. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 7. Und geht jetzt zu 5. Mose 7 und Vers 7. It says, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers and the oath that he swore was that she will not be barren but have a child right der eid den er geschworen hat war dass sie nicht unfruchtbar sein sollte sondern ein kind haben sollte and when john was born he, it's smart as he comes out of the belly filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Und als Johannes geboren wurde, das markiert, wie er aus dem Bauch gekommen ist und mit dem Heiligen Geist erfüllt wurde. Okay, so when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, according to the quotes that we read, it's marking the exceeding bright light, right? Und wenn du mit dem Heiligen Geist erfüllt wirst, das ist dann gemäß diesen Zitaten, die wir gelesen haben, das äußerst helle Licht. Okay. And the exceeding bright light, those that don't receive it, their feet go into perfect darkness. Right? Right? So, when we take our little line from the fifth day of the fourth month, where, where is John fulfilled? And when we our little line from the fifth day of the fourth month, then name, where is Die Erfüllung von Johannes. It's here, right? Es ist ganz am Ende. R R right? Richtig. Because, because no, th th this would be midnight, right? Weil das wäre Mitternacht. Right? And then the civil Sunday law would be Christ. Und das zivile Sonntagsgesetz wäre Christ. So here, <coughs> midnight, civil Sunday law, John and Christ, right? Also hier hätte man dann Mitternacht und dann but when you take it on the small little fractal that we're dealing with from the fifth day of the fourth month to midnight, that's where John is born, right? Aber wenn wir das auf dem kleinen Fraktal nehmen vom fünften Tag. Okay, just don't don't say that moment. That's confusing what you're saying. We'll come to that point in a moment. So that that's where John is born, right? Also wenn wir eben unsere Linie dann nehmen vom fünften Tag des vierten Monats bis Mitternacht, dann ist es am Ende, wo Johannes geboren ist. Right? So, John, and, and as Lon says, it's marking for the next group, right? There has to be a messenger raised up, and then it has to be confirmed with marking the baptism, right? And because that's how it went here, right? It went Jeff, 9-11, movement. Right begins to come in. Also, right? wenn man dann eben Johannes hier hat, dann ist er der Botschafter für die nächste Gruppe, für die Gemeinde. Und ähm, das passiert ja dann immer, dass der Botschafter wird aufgerichtet und dann ist die Taufe. Und das hat man dann auch hier ähm, mit Jeff und dann dem 11. September. So this would be midnight. This would be the civil Sunday law, right? Und das wäre dann Mitternacht und das ist zivile Sonntag. You have a time of peace. And then the Sunday law comes. Und dann hat man eine Zeit des Friedens und dann kommt das Sonntagsgesetz. But before the Sunday law comes, right, which marks the first temple cleansing, they have to have heard the message of John, right, see the confirmation with Christ, and then there's this preparation time before 
the Sunday law begins, right? And um, before the um, Sonntagsgesetz comes, what this Tempelreinigung is, müssen Sie zuerst einmal diese Botschaft von Johannes gehört haben und dann die Bestätigung durch Christus bekommen haben und Then this time of peace, which is a preparation time. Und dann kommt eben diese Zeit des Friedens, was diese Vorbereitungszeit ist auf das Sonntagsgesetz. Okay, the same pattern over and over, right? Das ist immer dasselbe Muster. Okay, so, okay, I asked this question, and, and nobody, no, nobody, but he's maybe uh, emphasizing this point now. And the the point that I'm making is, um, from the fifth day of the fourth month to midnight. Are we dealing with more than one group? That's why he made this statement, right? From the fifth day of the fourth month to the midnight, da möchte ich die Frage stellen: Ja, behandeln wir jetzt mehr als eine Gruppe? Und deswegen hat auch Bruder Lorenz diesen Punkt gemacht mit der Gemeinde. Because when you're dealing with that, is is when you're dealing with from the fifth day of the fourth month, is the sign that's given here? Is it John, or maybe even Christ in some sense, for the for the rest of this, the rest of this movement here? And when we im jetzt diese Linie dann anschauen, ist dann dieses Zeichen hier dann Johannes oder Christus für die nächste Gruppe? Also die. No, 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 not not next group. I'm on about for this movement, right? When you say next group, you who is the next group? Für den Rest dieser Bewegung. Okay, also ob die Frage ist dann, ist das Johannes oder Christus für den Rest der Bewegung? Right. And if that's the case, if it's now that been raised up for the rest of this movement, then the, the movement's finished here. Und right? Wenn das der Fall ist und das, um, if it's Christ? No. If that is the case, then the movement must be finished here. Und wenn das der Fall ist, dann muss die Bewegung dann hier zu Ende sein. Right? So, okay, which, which is this point here, right? Und das ist ja dieser Punkt hier. So, who's been dealt with here? Who, also, whose close probation is here? Also, mit wem wird dann hier, wer wird dann hier behandelt und wessen Gnadenzeit ist dann hier am Ende? All these questions we should all be thinking about, we should all be asking ourselves, okay, because Christ is the pattern man, he changes not, right? All these questions we have to ask ourselves, and because Christ is the man of the muster, he does not change. Okay, so, um, go back to Deuteronomy 7. Go back to 5 Moses 7. Right, verse 8. And verse 8. It says, but because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, Hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt? Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repayeth them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and keep uh, and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. And the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep, in the land which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female, barren among you, or among your cattle. So, when you're not barren, it's linked to the point where he fulfills his promise and brings you into the land, right? This verse 14. Also wenn du nicht mehr unfruchtbar bist, dann markiert es den Punkt, wenn er die Verheißung erfüllt und du in das Land gebracht wirst. Right? Richtig. Okay. So, um, go to Galatians chapter 4, sorry. Oh, mm. My thoughts will come back in a moment. Geht jetzt zu Galater 4. 
Vers 1. Galater 4 und Vers 1. It says, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. So, if you just take this, 50 the fourth month to midnight, and parallel it with the Millerite line, where's the time appointed? Also, wenn man jetzt das hier nimmt, den fünften Tag des vierten Monats bis zur Mitternacht, und das mit der Linie von Miller parallel setzt. Wo ist die bestimmte Zeit? It's at the end, right? Es ist am Ende. This would be the time appointed. Das wäre die bestimmte Zeit. Because when you go into prophecy, it marks the time appointed as the time of the end, right? Which would be the end of the 1260, and it also marks it on October 22nd, the closed door, right? Wenn man, wenn man in die Prophetie geht, dann sieht man eben, dass die Zeit des Endes, ähm, äh, dass die bestimmte Zeit auch die Zeit des Endes ist und das ist ähm, im gewissen Sinne ähm, 1798, aber auch der 22. Oktober. Okay, so it says, um, where did we finish? Okay, Vers 3. Und jetzt Vers 3. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Right? So the time appointed marks the point with a full... Promise is fulfilled, right? Also, die bestimmte Zeit markiert den Punkt, wo die Verheißung erfüllt ist. Right? Richtig. Okay. So, um, now go to the next uh, quote. Is that of Ages 75? Also, geht jetzt zum nächsten Zitat von Leben Jesu. And if you just take those thoughts, because in Galatians chapter 4, it's likening the, the condition of the barren woman to be in bondage in Egypt, right? Und wenn ihr dann Galater 4, also diese Gedanken nimmt, dann vergleicht es die unfruchtbare Frau mit diesem Zustand, dass man gefangen ist in, in äh, Ägypten. And they came out of Egypt when? Und wann kamen sie aus Ägypten heraus? At the Passover. An Passa. Which was the cross, right? Und das war das Kreuz. Which is at the end. Und das ist am Ende. Okay. So the, the earliest place that at least I can see that the exceeding bright light can be rejected that they close their probation is at the end. Also right? der, der größte Platz, an dem den ich sehen kann, dass das äußerst helle Licht abgelehnt wird ähm, und das Ende der Gnadenzeit stattfindet, ist am Ende. So the Lord always gives a confirmation First, right? He gives a confirmation first that can't be controverted, so that he can say to you, "If I had not come to you, you would not have had sin." But now you have no cloak for your sin, right? Der Herr, der gibt dann immer eine Bestätigung und durch dieses Ereignis und ähm, und damit das dann erfüllt werden kann, was eben geschrieben steht, dass ähm, wenn er nicht zu ihnen gesprochen hätte dann hätten sie keine Sünde, aber jetzt haben sie keinen Vorwand für ihre Sünde. Okay, so, um, next quote, the Zara of Ages 75. Jetzt lesen wir das nächste Zitat, LJ 59.1. Okay, it says, Among the Jews, the twelfth year was the dividing line between childhood and youth. On completing this year, a Hebrew boy was called a son of the law, and also a son of God. So, where does it mark that? When do you become a son of God? Okay, at the baptism. When you receive the full outpouring of the Spirit, right? Okay, so John comes out of the belly and receives the Spirit, right? Christ also 
it's Mark in this point comes out of the belly and is filled with the Holy Spirit, right? And Christus, das markiert auch den Punkt, wo es dem Bauch kommt und mit dem Heiligen Geist erfüllt wird. Okay, so they're, they're both teaching a fulfillment of this point, right? Also beide lehren eine Erfüllung von diesem Punkt. Okay, it says, he was given special opportunities for religious instruction and was expected to participate in the sacred feasts and observances. It was in accordance with this custom that Jesus, in his boyhood, made the Passover visit to Jerusalem. Like all devout Israelites, Joseph and Mary went up every year to attend the Passover, and when Jesus had reached the required age, they took him with them. Okay? So, when you go to Luke chapter 2, Wenn jetzt zu Lukas 2 geht, Verse 42. Vers 42. Lukas 2, Vers 42. Okay, it says, and when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. So this is Mark any time just before he becomes a son of God, right? Also das markiert jetzt den Punkt kurz bevor er der Sohn Gottes wird. Prophetically speaking. Prophetisch gesprochen. Right? And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind them in Jerusalem. So there's a tarrying time marked there, right? Hier ist eine Verzögerungszeit markiert. And Joseph and his mother knew, knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days... They found him in the temple. So where does it bring us to? Also, wohin führt es uns jetzt? We only went through this yesterday. The third day. The third day. Das bringt uns zum dritten Tag. Right, the third day, and I gave you several witnesses, it marks the point for the marriage, the birth, right, etc., etc. Right? Und ich habe euch gestern viele Beweise gegeben, oder Zeugen gegeben, dass am dritten Tag ist diese Hochzeit ist, diese Geburt und so weiter. So after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So what, what does it signify? Also was um, stellt es da? Just think of the illustrations. On the third day, what is it now illustrating? What is Christ illustrating here? Denkt an diese Darstellung des dritten Tages da. Was stellt Christus jetzt hier da? Yes, he's, he's like Jonah coming out of the belly of the prophet. And he's speaking these powerful words and they are all astonished at his teaching, right? Es ist wie Jonah, der drei Tage aus dem Bauch kommt und dann diese, ähm, ähm, diese mächtige Botschaft spricht und alle sind jetzt verwundert über diese Botschaft, die er spricht. Okay. So, next part, next quote. Jetzt lesen wir das nächste Zitat. It says, Jesus was a teacher when he was about 12 years old. What was he? Also, was war Jesus? A teacher, right? Lehrer. So, what must you have to be a teacher? Und was brauchst du, um ein Lehrer zu sein? The first birth, right? Die erste Geburt. Okay, so it's confirming it right there. And the third day, he's now teaching those priests and he's doing it in such a way that they have got no idea, right? <laughs> das bestätigt jetzt für uns, dass eben am dritten Tag äh, dieser Lehrer ist und er lehrt jetzt diese Priester und sie haben keine Vorstellung. Okay, and we need to have that same wisdom, so we need to have the birth in order to be able to teach like Christ, right? Und wir brauchen diese ähm, selbe Weisheit, damit wir eben auch so wie Jesus lehren können. So, also diese Geburt brauchen wir. So who, who is he teaching when he's a teacher here? Also, wen lehrt er jetzt hier, wenn er dieser Lehrer ist? The, the very leaders that at the same way, Mark, have rejected that point, right? Also dieselben Führer, die an derselben Wegmarke ähm, diesen Punkt abgelehnt haben. Okay. At least if our understanding is correct. Right? Also wenn unser Verständnis richtig ist. Okay, it says, he went as a learner 
But in every question, <coughs> he was pouring light into their darkened minds. What was condition was their minds? In welchem Zustand war ihr Verstand? Darkened, right? Er war verdunkelt. If he had caused them to suspect that he was trying to teach them, they would have spun him. Why? Sie hätten ihn verschmäht und warum? Because they're filled with pride and prejudice, right? Weil sie mit Stolz und Vorurteilen gefüllt sind. And so it was all through his life. They could not find a single thing to blame him for. And yet he was at work all the time. He worked in his own home until he did not have any home. His lot was no more pleasant than that for the young people who tried to walk in his footsteps. Now, if all our people would work in this way, in Christ's way, what a blessing it would be. Amen? Amen. Okay, next quote. Next citat. As a child and youth, Jesus worked with his father Joseph and learned the carpenter's or builder's trade. His trade was significant. He was the character builder and as such all his labors were perfect. At the age of 12, on his return from his first visit to Jerusalem, his parents lost him and returning to Jerusalem they sought him sorrowing. They found him in the temple sitting among the doctors, hearing them and asking them questions. He was imparting light to their darkened minds. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. When his parents saw him and heard his questions and answers to the dignitaries of the temple, they were amazed and scarcely knew what to say. His mother said, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. How is it that ye sought me, he answered, Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? As he said these words, he raised his hand to heaven. Divinity flashed through humanity. His countenance was lighted up like the face of an angel. What's it marking? What's marked this here? His right hand. He's raising his right hand. Where does he do that? Er hebt jetzt seine rechte Hand und wo tut er das? No, not his right hand. He's raising his hands, it says. Also hier sagt es, er, ähm, er hebt jetzt seine Hände und wo tut er das? Aber so lange sei die Folie noch auf, wo er nicht sind. Ich glaube, es ist auf dem Bildschirm. Okay, just go to Daniel 12. Also, ähm, in mehreren Worten. Gehen wir jetzt zu Daniel 12. Verse 5. Daniel 12, verse 5. It says, Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. Right? So what's that an illustration of? Also, what is that for a illustration? The, the, <coughs> say it louder, if you're up. Yeah, the tree of life. Right? The tree of life. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times and a half, when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people. All these things shall be finished. Right? In verse 13. In verse 13. But go thou thy way, Daniel, till the end be, for thou shalt rest, and thou shalt stand in thy lot at the end of days. So it's marking the resurrection, right? Also es markiert die Auferstehung. And the, the tree of life is marking the new birth. Und der Baum des Lebens markiert die Neugeburt. It's marking the point when the rivers of water are flowing out of your belly, right? It's the resurrection. Es markiert den Punkt, wenn diese ähm, Ströme des lebendigen Wassers aus deinem Bauch fließen, das ist die Auferstehung. Okay, so... It's marking, and, and we just go back to the quote, it says, Divinity flashed through humanity. Wenn wir nochmal zurück zum Zitat gehen, sagt es, dass um, die Göttlichkeit durch die Menschlichkeit gegangen ist. So where do we see divinity flashing through humanity mentioned in the scriptures? Und wo sehen wir, dass, um, dass Göttlichkeit durch die Menschlichkeit blitzt in, in den Schriften? Okay. The, the two temple cleansings is what I'm looking for, right? Also, die zwei Tempelreinigungen. Okay. 
So, and, and it's, it's marking this, but so if he's here at the end because it's marking his birth and divinity is flashing through humanity, what does it mark? Does, does it mark the second temple cleansing? This would be my question. Also, um, wenn das jetzt hier dargestellt wird, dass es am Ende passiert und Mensch, also die Göttlichkeit durch die Menschlichkeit blitzt, markiert es jetzt die zweite Tempelreinigung. Das okay, because at the cross, where the probation closes, is the second temple cleansing, right? Weil am Kreuz, wenn die Gnadenzeit endet, das ist ja die zweite Tempelreinigung. And it's also the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, right? Das ist auch die Taufe mit dem Heiligen Geist. Because the cross and Pentecost they're the same point in time, right? Weil das Kreuz und Pfingsten ist derselbe Zeitpunkt. So I have all these questions, right? Because you can see all these evidences. Und ich habe all diese Fragen, weil man all diese Beweise sehen kann. Okay, so um, go to first. Uh, was not closing thoughts, but maybe we won't get through this. But go to First Samuel chapter uh, thir uh, three. Also geht jetzt zu Erster Samuel drei. And I'll leave you with these thoughts, right? Möchte ich dann zurücklassen mit diesen Gedanken? It says, and the child Samuel, verse one. Also erster Samuel drei Vers eins. And the child Samuel, the what Samuel? Also, was für ein Samuel? Okay, so we already read in Galatians chapter four. Also das Kind Samuel, und wir haben schon in Galater vier gelesen. When you're a child, what are you? Wenn du ein Kind bist, was bist du? A servant, right? And it's only at the time appointed, you're no longer a servant, but a son, right? It's erst an der bestimmten Zeit, dass du nicht mehr ein Knecht bist, sondern ein Sohn. So when do you become a son? Also wann wirst du ein Sohn? When you're 12 years old. Wenn du 12 Jahre alt bist. At the end of the, when you're 12 years old, right? Also am Ende, wenn du, also am Ende der 12 Jahre. At, at the third day, right? Am dritten Tag. This is my beloved son, and whom I am well pleased. Right? This is my beloved son, on whom I am well pleased. You come out of bondage, and you're now not a servant, but a son. Right? You come out of the knechtschaft hinaus, and you are not longer a knecht, but a son. So let's begin again. It says, "And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli." So, prophetically speaking, the child Samuel has is not yet at the appointed time. Right? Also prophetisch gesprochen ist das Kind Samuel noch nicht an der bestimmten Zeit. Okay, now uh, just go to the, just jump down to the next quote and we'll just read the first part. Und geht jetzt zum nächsten Zitat, wir werden den ersten Teil lesen. It says, when but 12 years old, the son of Hannah received a special commission from the Most High. How old was he? Wie alt war er? 12. So it's the same illustration as Christ, right? Das ist dieselbe Darstellung wie Christus. He's this child, he's 12 years old, and they were looking for him for how many days? Und er war das Kind, er war 12 Jahre alt, und wie viele Tage haben sie ihn gesucht? Three days, right? Drei Tage. So let's see what we see here, right? Also schauen wir, was wir hier sehen. And the child Samuel had ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days, and there was no open vision. So there was no prophet. Right? Also es gab keine offene Vision, keinen Propheten. Can't be a prophet until there is a birth, right? Und es kann keinen Propheten geben, bis es nicht eine Geburt gegeben hat. And it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. So Eli represents a leader, right? Also Eli stellt einen Führer dar. And what condition is he now in? Und in welchem Zustand ist er? He's blind, right? He's blind, as in dunkelheit. Okay. And here the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. And the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not, lie down again. And he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again, Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I. For thou didst call me, and he answered, I called not my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. What did he not do? Was, um, hat er nicht? Didn't know God, right? <coughs> er kannte Gott nicht. And 
It's life eternal to know God, right? Das ist ewiges Leben, dass wir Gott kennen. Okay. So, Vers 8. Und jetzt Vers 8. It says, Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of God yet what? Revealed to him. Also das Wort Gottes war ihm noch nicht offenbart. He hadn't had the revelation yet, right? Er hatte noch nicht die Offenbarung. Vers 8. Jetzt Vers 8. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. So what does it mark here in the Bible? Also was markiert es hier in der Bibel? The third time, right? Das dritte Mal. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child, right? So the third time Eli perceives something, right? Also das dritte Mal, da erkennt jetzt Eli etwas. Go back to the court. Geht zurück zum Zitat. It says, when but 12 years old, the son of Hannah received a special commission from the Most High. The circumstances of that call are best related in the simple and touchingly beautiful language of the sacred writer. The word of the Lord was precious in those days, there was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time, when Eli was laid in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And here the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep, that the Lord called Samuel. Supposing the voice to be that of Eli, the child hastened to the bedside of the aged priest, saying, Here am I, for thou callest me. The answer was, I called not my son, lie down again. Three times Samuel was called, and thrice he responded in like manner. So both the Bible and the spirit of prophecy mark Three times, right? Sowohl die Bibel als auch der Geist der Weissagung markieren diese dreimal. So where does it take you to if you parallel this with Christ? Also wohin bringt es dich, wenn du das parallel setzt mit Christus? Marks a point where you're being raised up to be a messenger, right? Das markiert den Punkt, wenn du aufgerichtet wirst, um ein Botschafter zu sein. It says, um, in like manner, and then Eli was convinced that the mysterious call was the voice of God. What feelings must have stirred the heart of the high priest at that hour? God had passed by his chosen servant. Was his probation closed? Also, um, the auserwählten Diener war vor, wurde vorbeigegangen und war seine Gnadentür beendet? No. But yet he was in darkness, right? He Nein. was blind. Nein, er war in Dunkelheit, er war blind. God had passed by his chosen servant, the man of hoary hairs, to commune with a child, right? This in itself was a bitter yet deserved rebuke to Eli in his house. Now, just quickly read this, this next quote. Und lese, lesen wir noch schnell das nächste Zitat. Okay, now just jump down the first two paragraphs to the third paragraph. Und überspringt jetzt die zwei nächsten Absätze und gehen wir zum dritten Absatz. Begins year after year. Steht Jahr um Jahr. Year after year, the Lord, for Eli's sake, delayed his threatened judgments. So after Samuel is raised up at the third time, he gives Eli this dreaded message, right? Also nachdem... Wenn Samuel aufgerichtet ist nach dem dritten Mal, gibt er jetzt Eli diese androhende Botschaft. But it says, year after year, the Lord for Eli's sake delayed his threatened judgments. How much might have been done in those years to redeem the failures of the past? But the aged priest took no effective measures to avert the doom that hung over him and his house. So right here, this way Mark it would be, right? He's convicted that he's wrong, right? He has no cloak for his sin, right? Das wäre dann genau in dieser Wegmarke, wo er jetzt überführt wird, dass er falsch liegt und er hat keinen Vorwand mehr für seine Sünde. So this leader that's been passed by, what should he have done right here? Also dieser Leiter, an dem vorübergegangen wird, was sollte er genau hier getan haben? Repent, be converted, that your sins would be blotted out, right? Tut Buße und bekehrt euch, dass eure Sünden ausgetilgt werden. Okay. So, it says, the forbearance of God caused Hophni and Phineas to harden their hearts and to become still bolder and more defiant in transgression. But steadily and surely the day of retribution was approaching. 
Every warning slighted, every day of probation squandered, made their punishment greater and their doom more certain. God bears long with the perversity and stubbornness of men. By warnings and reproofs, he shows them their true condition. Again and again, he calls them to repentance. Though the multitudes wax bold, wax bold in sin, trampling upon his mercy and defying his justice, still he pours his blessings upon them. Oh, how infinitely beyond human comprehension are the Lord's mercy and forbearance towards the children of men. Yet there is a limit beyond which men may not go on in sin. When the fullness of iniquity is reached, the what? Was ist erreicht? The fullness of the time, right? Die Fülle der Zeit. The time appointed. Die Zeit. The time of the end. Die Zeit des Endes. As with the Amorites and the children of Israel who fell in the wilderness, right? Right here, they come out because the iniquity of the Amorites was not yet full. Und das ist genau am Ende, weil ähm, da kommen sie heraus, weil das, die Ungerechtigkeit der Amoriter noch nicht voll war. Then the wrath of God is visited upon the transgressors of his law. Right? And this was the seventh plague right here, right, where he punished the firstborn. Und das war ja dann auch hier die siebte Plage, wo er ähm, die Erstgeborenen bestraft hat. Okay. So initially in our prediction, we predicted that it would be at the end of the ten where they would get punished. Right? Und zuerst in unserer Vorhersage haben wir vorhergesagt, dass sie am Ende der Zehn bestraft werden. And somehow we've brought it back to here. So my question is, how do we justify that? Und irgendwie haben wir das dann hierhin wieder gebracht. Und meine Frage ist, wie können wir das rechtfertigen? I don't think we can. Und ich right? glaube, wir können das nicht. I think it's here, the sign that comes before that is the evidence that re removes any arguments that they have and it's their last chance to repent before the door closes. Und ich glaube eben, dass das Zeichen, das hier kommt, das ähm, ist dann dieser große Beweis und das beseitigt alle Argumente, die sie haben und dann haben sie diese letzte Chance vor, vor dem Punkt, dass die Tür dann schließt. But I'm open, right? Aber ich bin noch dafür offen. But we all see the points, right? Aber wir sehen alle die Punkte. Richtig. Okay, let's, let's close in prayer. Lass uns dann mit Gebet abschließen. Vater, wir danken dir für dieses Morgenstudium und für die Dinge, die du uns offenbart hast. Und ich bitte, dass du uns besseres Verständnis gibst über diese Punkte. Und bitte hilf jedem Einzelnen von uns, dass wir sorgfältig nach der Wahrheit suchen im Gebet. Und ich bitte um deine Segnungen für diesen Tag und auch für die Studien, die noch kommen sollen. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Thank you.